My dear friends, today we meditate on the first reading taken from Acts chapter 15 verses 7 to 21 and the Gospel of John chapter 15 verses 9 to 11. Yesterday we saw proof of the controversy in the early church concerning whether new converts had to be circumcised and to follow the law of Moses in order to be a Christian. St. Paul was adamantly in favor of freedom from the Jewish law. However, he did not make a decision on his own. He returned to Jerusalem to consult with other apostles. Peter, the head of the apostles, spoke first and followed by James, who was in charge of Jerusalem community. Yes, dear friends, this is the Catholic Church. There is no private interpretation. To put it positively, God has revealed his truth not to individuals but to a community, the church. The celebration of the Eucharist is the best manifestation of the nature of the church. We celebrate not as individuals but as one people united in faith with fellow Catholics, with fellow Christians throughout the world. So we are here to profess and known as one apostolic Catholic Church. The entire church, every celebration, be it Mass or any sacraments, is celebrated the same way, the same methodology in the entire church. And this is the example of being one holy apostolic church. Is that